Hello everybody! Today I will do a small tutorial about animation curves and montage. The problem that I wanted to solve with this tutorial is the blending issue that the animation curve value can have when it's affected by the blending and blending, blend out time of the montage. If we see here we are having this montage that, uh, this animation that is playing inside of the montage. We want that this value we get the specific values that we get here, for example, 0 0.4 at the, at the start, from 0 to this specific frame, and in here that we keep 0 minus 55 until the end. So, if we're playing this animation with this montage, that is the one that is using, you will see that the montage has blending and blending out times. These values will affect the Cure, the cure value as we can see in the top left when I play you see how the uh, it blends to 0 to 0 0.4 and at the end it will blend bit to, from minus 55 to 0 as you see but we wanted actually to do these values keeps at the same until the montage finish so how can we solve this uh, we are going to use something called metadata curves and how are we gonna use it then? We're gonna go first to our animation so we can open our montage and to be sure that we select the animation that is using we just double click it and we enter to it and the one that we contain the curve. Now we will add a metadata curve. I create uh, one before so I just gonna look for it this alpha Oh, if it doesn't exist, we can just add the create a meta data cure and we're gonna call it alpha meta data cure, something like this. And we can copy this name because we're gonna need it. So we add it, and you see here we're gonna get this different cure body uh, here, and this one gonna have like a squares. So we know that this tile check cure that we have here is a meta data cure. That differentiate from a normal curve. Now, if you see here in the level blueprint directive, I am getting the cure value here and I play in the montage in here. So let's use the metadata curve to solve this problem. For doing that, I will create in this append that is the one that I use it to print the value in the level. And I'm just gonna write here cure value filter. Basically, this will, this will be the cure value that is pure data without blending information. And we're going to put it in this part in here. And I'm going to just add here another line by just pressing Shift Enter. So it's a little more easy to preview in the gameplay viewport. So now we're going to use right click here and I'm just going to duplicate it. And in here I will paste my metadata cure name by just pressing here F2, Control C, and Control B here. Now that we get the two values from the cure, we need to connect this one to the anim instance. And in here, I, we just divide the first value by the metadata cure value and just connect it in the second one. And with this simple formula, we're going to fix our issue. So we're going to notice that now we're going to have two lines. In the first line is the original value, and the second line will be the filter value. As you see, when, as soon as I play the montage, the, first, uh, the second one will go directly to 0 0.4, and at the end it will stay in minus 55 until the end of the montage. In this way, we can filter the animation cure values. This is really useful when you are doing additive corrections to your animations or when you are using IK's values and you need it to keep it until the end, stuff like that. Or for example, if you are blending a value that disables the IK when it's one and you need it to keep it until the end because the, the next animation will be one and you don't want it to be more than one. So yes, this is the way to do that. So I hope this was useful for you. If you had any questions, just ask me and I will try to help you. Bye bye.